52 yard field goal kept them off the board. Beck has it batted up and intercepted. Pardon me, but Conkey's on the black team. That'll go as a reception. <laughs> Hey, it's a spring game for us. I thought too. it was too. <laughs> it's like Beck was trying to hit a comeback to the sideline. You notice he's got a little bit of a three-quarter release. Most quarterbacks do nowadays. It, it, they're not teaching you to go. We saw Zamir White a little bit earlier. Uh, we, we see Daywan Edwards just now. We're going to see a little bit of uh, James Cook. I think he's going to be the move guy in this offense. So you're right. A lot of depth, but a lot of depth at this position too. Up the sideline, and he takes it inside. In back. Georgia actually brings pressure from the field there, a blitz, and Beck calmly knows it's picked up, finds his one-on-one -on -one matchup down the field, and that is a huge pickup in a veteran. It's already been incredibly helpful from a management perspective and kind of setting everything from uh, practice times and coaches' schedules as Carson Beck ever seen in my life. Jordan, you talked about the bunch formations and missing some X receivers. That one batted down at the line. He's really worked on this spring. Is getting better in pass protection. Back throws on the run, incomplete. Fantastic one-handed grab by Kiaris Jackson. Black team with an opportunity now, and a deep ball from Carson back wide open and just a little wide for. He might be a guy that could get some get some looks next year. Georgia will return eight starters on offense. That one just in front of uh, Brock Bowers. He do, but make no mistake, this is going to be a deep, talented receiver group when everyone's healthy this fall and led by Jermaine Burton, who I think is an absolute star. Complete over the middle, and the ball may have came loose on the back end after the catch by Brock Bowers. It'll be a first down for the black team. So we mentioned Brock earlier in the game. Four-star, tight end, 6'4", 230. He's a guy that stretches the field. Darnell Washington, the big body tight end, is more of a blocker. He can stretch the field, but Brock Bowers, number 19, is a guy to keep your eye on if you're a Georgia fan. I think that make, makes it difficult there is the defense doesn't really know how to identify him. So you line him up in so many different places, but he mentioned the youth again. He said, listen, we got a lot of leadership at quarterback, running back, but there's a lot of young. Veneers and was a head coach at Southern Miss. First and 10 now for Carson Beck and the black team. Under two minutes to go before the half. And that one was behind it. Finds a soft spot again. This is Bowers one more time. But he had a great spring. And he might be their most natural thrower. He definitely is. I mentioned it earlier. He's a superstar. I do it because I want to be really good. I do it because I love this. So it doesn't matter if it's Georgia or USC or Vanderbilt for that matter. He just loves football. Whoa! That one overthrown and intercepted by Dan Jackson. And Jackson able to bring it back upfield. He yield the track speedster. See what happens here. It's a post route. Yeah. It's what you got to do as a young quarterback. You got to realize that safeties can recover in this league. And so that ball has to be thrown much more on a line. When you throw the ball down the middle of the field, if you have a two safety look, or even if you move this. Jordan, it was interesting hearing Monty talk about, and I think the average fan would love to hear more about this as they get pressure on Carson Beck, the preparation the guys go through. Absolutely look at players from programs like Georgia a little bit differently. They come with a little bit more stock if you're coming out of Georgia, Notre Dame. No one wanted to play Georgia. <laughs> no, that's fair. I mean, that's a, and, and we talk about the playoff, and it's the four best teams. Are you telling me that if Alabama had the opportunity to play a and the missing piece was JT Daniels when he started to get going at the end of the year, that's the year you wanted to see an eight-team playoff, right? That's when you wanted to see a Georgia team that just found their quarterback. If you got to three and a half minutes left in the scrimmage, and, and Cole asked him about being ready to play versus being utilized to play in California where his high school coach got to meet with the the Pee Wee coach or developmental league coach whoever it was and as a sixth grader he gets up on the whiteboard and they said he's better than to compete against every day this is Georgia defense which was for a long time the best in the country last year 
So Jordan, why do you think it took him so long? Graham, especially in COVID, where we didn't get to be at practice and, and be in meeting rooms as much as we're used to. Great bullet throw there by Carson Beck to Darnell Washington. What if here's Munkin was trying to adapt it to multiple people? And I think it's going to be special this year when it all comes together. And I tell you what, Georgia has found their number two quarterback. I've been impressed with Carson Beck today. Care about steak or beanie weenies? These coaches eat whatever dinner as well. So you better believe they all want the steak. So we're going Cole, for two. got a throwback to a big fella. Oh! And he stopped oh, short on. of Marius Mims. Oh, little sprint right throwback. Great job backside of noticing it. But look at that, the big man. You gotta, you gotta hold that ball high and tight, son. Carson Beck trying to avoid the Ryan Davis rush. I have personally been at dinner. Just keep bringing the protein. Thank you. On second and three, Carson Beck will scramble. <laughs> that avocado thing. Whatever it is, get it. It was delicious. Here's Edwards. Season, because you know it's going to be JT's show, but who's going to be behind him? And I think that's Carson Beck. He's going to unload on this one. Too strong. Trying to find Arian Smith. I know how much you like. Third down five. To the slant. And that's good for a black team first down. And they're letting him play on. Well, Hicks took a lick out there shaking his head after taking a shot. Back down the seam, incomplete. And Tom looking for Brock Bowers. Every tight end, able to stretch the field. Oh, and yeah, there was a couple of guys waiting for that one. That's how you avoid those big hits that we almost saw there. Oh, mm. yeah, we and got another. a big hit to shut down. Oh, yeah. See, that's a, 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 there's a, there's a young quarterback mistake, right? Coverage. Everybody in a two point. Here's a third and three. And Milton. Oh, somebody. 12 point deficit. Carson Beck trying to make it a little bit closer in the final minute. Maybe this year, maybe in a couple years, but he's taking the most first team snaps out of anybody, and there it is. It's a great drive. Great drive by Carson Beck. Took what he could. Defense was playing over the top a bunch. We took the check down, took the check down, then it started to open up two great throws in a row.